water here. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, crap. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Oh, yes, it is working. It's magic. Look at them in there. Flamingos? <laughs> oh, no, I'm burning the flamingos. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of, um, Minecraft. Today, today we're back again, of course, and, uh, I've created some new spells, and uh, I think you all will really enjoy these new spells. Uh, they, they are very, very powerful spells, and uh, let's begin. Oh, this spell, Burning Light. <laughs> yes, everywhere they go, there is going to be a, a piece of fire underneath them. And it affects every, uh, every enemy in a 90 block radius, and you can, like, continually cast it. Super powerful. When you, when you have a skeleton problem, you know, it's it's annoying when they shoot arrows, right? Well, um, I do have a, a, a solution for you. Uh, just go ahead and get yourself a, a greater ward, which, um, what the heck is that over there? Is that like a, you know what, that's just a fire, probably. Take that! Ha! Ah, I've stopped your, your, your arrows from flying at me. <laughs> with, with my conjured blocks. Oh, crap. <laughs> so basically what this spell does is it conjures blocks on top of where they are shooting arrows. So it stops their arrows, kinda. But, like, it, it takes a second to actually stop their arrows. And plus, there's, when there's, like, three of them, it's not really gonna be very effective. Uh, I think burning light is the most effective thing I've made so far. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, test to see if this actually would work for going into one of these places. Hello, greetings, place. There is enemies in this one, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and find out what the, what happens to those enemies when they feel fire. Oh. It's working. I heard a skeleton burning, so that's that's good. <clears throat> Go into yes, uh, the pizza's not a key card. I know. Oh, they don't count as enemies. What the heck is that? Okay, that that helps me out. You know, while we're out here, we might as well go find a place nearby just to, you know, take a look at what it has. But I I, I don't think I'm finding anything. Wait, what is this? What is this? Okay, no, it's just a pile of dirt at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. What is that place? Oh, there's another place over there. There's two places here. Okay, we're gonna go to each of these. I, wait, oh, I saw another one. Uh, I guess we can start with this one. I don't know what this one's gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting, hopefully. I don't know how to get in. Um, <laughs> where's the door? Oh, is it, it's there. Okay. What do you think is inside this one? Zero twelve. What is zero twelve again? I, I have no clue what zero twelve is. I am pretty sure that's dangerous, though. Oh, that's what zero twelve is. Oh, uh, yeah, that is very dangerous. Zero five. Fascinating. What is this one? There, there's some good stuff in these, I think. Yes, yeah, very good stuff in those. But what is zero five gonna be? There's no button on the door. W who designs this? Okay, I'll use a card reader of my own. Huh. But th there's still no button on the door for me to get in and out. What the heck is this? You know what? It doesn't need a button. That's the new door. New door. Okay. Level four key card for for a, a safe class anomaly. That doesn't seem right. I'll just go in with my my own. Oh, this is what 05 is. Okay. Good. It seems to be a very large one, but it's like directly under the water. What the heck is this? Why they always build them underwater? What is with that? Okay. 2761. I have no clue what 2761 is. Oh, it's the swamp lady. Okay, I think I remember. I'm just gonna go check if there's anything up here, even though I already know what this is. Okay, there's hazmat suits. That is perfect. I needed some of those. Yep. I say this is a big yellow dinosaur. This is not what I thought it was. Well, I have no clue what it is, <laughs> but it's it's there, so 
And I also saw this one under the water. I have no clue what this one is. Um, yes, we need to open this side, right? Why am I using an X? I mean, it d did almost <clears throat> go through anyway, but still. 020. Okay, I know what this one is. Um, it's not ideal to actually have to deal with this one. Is this where we need to go? Is this upstairs? Is there, or do we go to the other one? <laughs> Where the heck are we going with this place? Never been in this facility before. Okay, I think we go in this one. No, we, we go upstairs, don't we? What the heck is this? There, there, there's two doors. Why is there two doors to this place? Very nice walls. I do like this interior decorating style. I'm gonna go ahead and take these, I think, maybe. What, what, at least, what are they called? I just need to know. Green panel D. Okay, cool. Green panels. What's this bottom one called? Is this green pot uh, green panel A? Okay, good. Oh yes, there is some variety of these. I was actually complaining about it in my uh, last episode. And um, there is variety to these. There's a third one that I've never seen before. It requires level 4 clearance. What the heck is this? Hold on, I need to make a waypoint for this. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, that's not right. We need to go into here to make a waypoint. Yes. Good. And then we'll just bust down the door. M imagine if this one is like the most dangerous of them. Kind of seems like it's going to be that way. It's going to suck if it is. I've never even seen this facility before. This is quite interesting. What's in this room? You know, there's probably going to be something very dangerous in this place, and I, just, I should probably go back and drop off some of my stuff. Wonderful, another container for the shelf. Alright, nice, we got, we got like, um, some night vision goggles, we got flashlights, and hazmat suits all here. In sets of four. Very nice. And I think I'm equipped with everything I could need, so I'm probably just going to head back now. Yeah, so I heard something in the facility, and I'm not too fond of the sound I was hearing. So we're just gonna hopefully burn everything inside the facility using a burning light. The best spell ever. Yes, good. There's water here. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, crap. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Don't make me smack you. You big crustacean. Oh, crap. I gotta get through the door. Oh, hold on, I can fly, I can fly. I forgot about that. Um, so how do I get through this door again? I need a level 3 key card. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Oh crap, you're gonna chase me here? Get out of here. Oh, I have slowness now from that. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think we're ready for this. I'm gonna quickly just rework my spell so it burns all the things. Alright, now this should work. Hopefully, they are counted as living. And if they are, this will uh, definitely work on them. But anyway... Oh, there they are. Look at those monsters. Okay. Well, I, I believe we have the ability to use, um... Ultra Smite on them. And eliminate them very quickly with this. <laughs> Holy crap, they are very strong. They survived four... Well, actually, eight lightning bolts. That's a, a very large number. Oh, okay, they didn't survive the tenth one, though. There's more of them. Oh, crap. Oh, yes, it is working. It's magic. Look at them in there. Cooked crab. Okay, now what is 148? A level 4 key card required. I don't think so. I'll get out my pickaxe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just bust down the door. Oh, I know what 148 is. Greetings. Greetings. Hello there. Take that. Oh, take, 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 th take this. Yes, yes. Smack them. Okay, good. Yes, these guys are SCP-098. Interesting. I, I... I, I mean, I guess I get why they're a safe class, because, I mean, if you put them in a box, they're not really going to be getting out anytime soon. 
It wouldn't be that difficult to contain except for this place. Apparently they didn't manage to do, to do it. It seems like it'd be very easy to contain them is what I'm trying to say. What does this do? Is that nerve gas? Imagine if that's nerve gas. We don't even have a gas mask. <laughs> well, um, this area is cleared. Oh, we had to open that door so we could get in there. What is in this one? What is, what is... Yes, okay. 1507. And... Oh, this is the offices. Nice. Wow, there, there's gonna be a lot of paper in here, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go through all these. Oh, crap. There was something neutral over there. Flamingos? <laughs> oh no, I'm burning the flamingos. Um, well, I, I'm i pretty sure they're dangerous and I don't want to deal with them. So, take that, you fl flamingos. Yeah. Man, this place is a real maze. This is only safe glass anomalies, I guess. Wow, this, this is a very, very easy facility to clear. I like that. Okay, that was a very small facility. There wasn't really much here. And everything else is pretty much dead, because I exterminated all of it. Well then, I think that's all we have time for in today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed today's uh, episode, you know, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, if you guys got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.